We can now go across to Ed Augustin covering the story for us in Cuba. Ed, uh, what is the host country hoping to achieve here? Yeah, I'm speaking to you from Havana, um, where the G77 plus China are currently meeting. Um, it's a two-day conference, Friday and Saturday. And the G77 today comprises 134 countries. That's 80% of the world's population. And delegates from all over the world are meeting here because Cuba um, is currently the chair, um, is currently chairing that. Um, the raison d'etre, the idea of all of this, is to create a world economic order that works a little bit more in the favor of the so-called global south. You know, there are, there, are, there are many countries here that feel that the international financial, financial architecture, trade agreements, the, the, the way in which the IMF is run, um, the way in which debt is issued, uh, doesn't work in the interests of the majority of the world's population. And so the idea is, here is that many of these countries will try, where possible, to club together in the UN to form a negotiating block. The theme of the summit is science, technology and innovation and how those things can be leveraged by so-called global south countries to, um, uh, to, to unleash a greater rate of economic growth, but also more, more widely development, you know, in, in increased literacy, uh, better sanitation, uh, uh, better nutrition. Um, right now in Havana, there's around about 30 heads of state and uh, the head of the, the United Nations. And over the next couple of days, they're going to be trying to thrash out a joint communique to see whether they can reach an agreement um, and a joint statement uh, regarding these themes.